Good morning guys, you join us here for another revision video from the High Tungstool PE. Today we are going to be looking at aerobic and anaerobic exercise. We're going to look at the main differences between the two, we're going to look at the equations for them, and then we're also going to have a look at a bit of EPOC and a bit of oxygen debt as well. So, first if we start with uh, aerobic exercise, just in terms of how you would kind of describe this, you'd be looking that it's uh, long duration activities, it's uh, low and medium intensity, uh, the muscular contractions are a lot slower and lower intensity, usually performed by the slow twitch fibres in the muscles. And the equation for aerobic exercise is glucose plus oxygen is converted into energy and the byproducts of carbon dioxide and water. If we then move on to anaerobic, which literally means without oxygen, now this is for much higher intensity activities, usually lasting between, um, if you remember it is between 5 and 20 seconds, you won't go far wrong with anaerobic exercise. Um, the energy comes from the phosphates that are already stored in the muscles, um, and the equation for this is glucose is converted straight into energy, but also produces that lactic acid as well. In terms of activities that um, you use for, uh, or that you would use the two energy systems for, um, we've got aerobic is typically um, your longer endurance events, um, so if you remember it's kind of 1500 metres plus in athletics, and then your anaerobic is for short, quick activities, so the throws and the jumps uh, in athletics, the 100 metres for example would also be anaerobic. Then we move on to EPOC. Now EPOC essentially um, is when you've been working, um, you go from a steady, um, steady position or to working hard, you create what's called an oxygen debt because the oxygen has not got time to get to the working muscles. All right, so this is where energy is produced anaerobically. Then when you start working, you slowly start to build up and get that oxygen into your system at the same rate that you are exercising. When you finish, all right, EPOC kicks in. Now, this is excess post-oxygen consumption. So basically, when you finish an activity, your breathing stays at a heavier rate to repair the oxygen debt that was created at the start of the activity. So understanding EPOC, oxygen debt, aerobic exercise, anaerobic exercise will help you to answer the questions with also applying it to different sports and practical examples within AQA GCSE PE. Hopefully this video has been of some help. Cheers.